What's up? Yeah, y'all can come in, man. Hold on. Make sure you wipe your feet on this rug before you come in. When you're in the South, I always wipe your feet on the rug, man. Don't disrespect me. Ludacris is one of many celebs hopping on the TikTok trend recently, and by doing so, we've gotten a glimpse into one of his properties where he lives with his family. His videos show the tennis court, the man-made lake, and even the pool. By the looks of it, the rapper has been spending quarantine at his main mansion in Atlanta, Georgia, which is also his hometown. However, this isn't the only real estate he has. He continues to own a modern Hollywood Hills house and more. We even found some of the listings. Christopher Bridges, better known as his stage name Ludacris, is a rapper and actor. After forming his own label in the late 90s, he later signed with Def Jam South and went on to become one of the first Dirty South rappers to achieve mainstream success. Aside from his rap career, for which he's released a ton of albums over the years and won plenty of awards, including Grammys, he's also a movie star. Although Ludacris is best known for his character in the Fast and the Furious franchise, he's had many other notable roles too. Hey, Mia, you better hide your baby, all. I'm just playing. <laughs> you better hide that big forehead. <laughs> I was just joking. Luda was born in Illinois but moved to Atlanta, Georgia when he was only 9 and he clearly considers this city his home. This is where he began rapping and still lives here with his wife and three children in a mega mansion which we'll take a look at soon. As of 2020, sources estimate Ludacris's net worth at a whopping $80 million, making it on the list of the 100 richest rappers in the world. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Today we're going to be looking at Chris Bridges aka Ludacris and where he calls home including his mansion in Atlanta, Hollywood, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Rick Ross and 50 Cent, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tours next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Before we get into the current homes of Ludacris, let's look at a place he used to live. Considering the rapper bought an even nicer property on the west coast a few years back, he didn't need this penthouse anymore and decided to sell. It was up on the real estate market most recently in 2018 for $1.175 million, so we were able to get a good look. The multi-level residence is an upscale building near West Los Angeles in Century City. Ludacris bought the property over a decade ago, owning it for six years or more, but then sold it at a loss. His previous penthouse spanned just over 2000 thousand square feet of living space with two beds and 2.5 baths. The master suite was located on the lower level of the large apartment and had an ensuite his and hers bathroom with dual sinks as well as a spacious walk-in closet. The unit featured hardwood floors, recessed ceilings, and floor-to-ceiling windows that let in a lot of natural light. There's also plenty of balcony access throughout the penthouse offering views of the LA skyline and the treetops. The main level was mostly devoted to an open plan living space, all seamlessly merged together. Here you'll find the dining room, chef's kitchen and a living room with freestanding steel fireplace. The kitchen offers another eat-in bar area and stainless steel appliances. I gotta say this was a pretty nice apartment, looks super spacious, but the home Ludacris move on to was an upgrade to say the least. According to records, Ludacris bought a gorgeous modern mansion in the Hollywood Hills back in 2013 and still owns it to this day. Although he spends much of his time in Atlanta, it helps have a place in LA too. His home is located in the Hollywood Hills in a primo location near Runyon Canyon where he even has perfect views of the Hollywood sign and head-on view of the city. The mansion cost him $4.8 million, but it looks to me like it was worth it and a lot nicer than his previous condos he owned on the West Coast. Inside, his house spans almost 6,000 square feet of living space over more than three floors according to the listing, and there are four beds and five baths. The home has every luxury amenity you could dream of with panoramic views from almost all rooms. The main living space is open concept with double height ceilings and floor-to-ceiling windows. Here you'll find the living, dining, and kitchen spaces. One of the living rooms resembles a great room with upper level balconies overlooking the large space. There are wide plank wood floors and walls of glass sliders that open up to the multi-level deck outside. The state-of-the-art chef's kitchen features dark wood cabinets and an Eden bar. Ludacris and his wife enjoy quite the master suite in this home too. It's super spacious with an additional seating area, fireplace, a wet bar, dual bathrooms, large dressing rooms and walk-in closets, and private balconies with glass rails and views of the Hollywood lights. Other features of the rapper's mansion include a large home theater, wine cellar, full bar, and aside from the guest 
guest bedrooms. There are also separate maids quarters. Not to mention he's an attached two car garage with additional off street parking for up to seven. A definite luxury when you're in the hills. Outside on the grounds of the home, aside from all the patio space to dine in and entertain, there's a city view, infinity edge swimming pool, and a raised spa. So now that we've looked at Luda's LA properties, let's move on to Georgia. He bought his first house in Atlanta after finding success as a rapper in the early 2000s and decorated the home with leather ottomans, a bare bones kitchen, and a logo of his record company painted on the office wall. But you gotta start somewhere, right? This was the home they featured on Ludacris's episode on MTV Cribs back in the day, and by the looks of it, he had a large piece of bare land surrounding the home, and inside it had three beds and two baths. Kinda odd though, because a house that size looks like it would have more bathrooms. We can see the entryway with high ceilings and his now outdated office once you walk in the doors. Then Luda shows his spacious double height living room where he had a wall of his vinyls. There was a spacious eating kitchen where the rapper kept his chicken and beer, and then we can see the strangely painted swamp hallway. This is the crazy thing about the house. This is why everybody calls my crib the swamp. Right here in this hallway, on the way to the bedroom, it's three dimensional. You actually have a swamp. It just makes you feel a certain way when you walk through here, man. It's like bringing the outside inside. And I'll be damned if you find something like this in anybody's house. This leads you to Ludacris's master suite, where he had some flashy decoration, to say the least, from the fur pillows to the lions painted on the ceiling. Then he had his attached marble bathroom with fireplace and jacuzzi tub, as well as a large walk-in closet on the other side. Other features included a games room, which Ludacris made sound like it was the party room, and out back, there was a large swimming pool and even a basketball court. That's where it was many years ago though, what used to be Luda's bachelor pad soon found a new owner. He convinced his mother, Roberta, to move from Virginia to Georgia to be near his growing family and was passing the mansion on to her. However, the home was clearly dated at this point and needed a fresh look. Ludacris said about his taste in the past, at that point I really had no sense of style. So he and his wife got some help fixing up the home for his mom. This was actually featured on a series called My House and the couple got help from designer Rachel Oliver to give his first Georgia home a major makeover as a Mother's Day present for mom. They worked with Rachel to remake the house more modern and feminine. They changed everything in the home from what we can see, such as outfitting the old school kitchen with double ovens and steps so Roberta could reach the microwave, and adding a touch of glam to the dining room. Welcome home! Welcome home. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This is gorgeous! Yes. <laughs> so this Looks to me like it worked out perfectly and his mom was super pleased with the results. Like I said, Ludacris still calls Atlanta home and the family mansion where he spends most of his time is located here. In 2003, he bought this mega estate where he currently lives for only 2.8 million according to records. And I say only 2.8 million because look at the size of this place, it's like a palace. The rapper's Atlanta mansion sits on over 22 sprawling acres of land and inside spans over 10,000 square feet with five beds and five or more baths. From aerial views of his property, we can see that there's everything here from a swimming pool and spa, large fountain at the front, a guest house, basketball court, tennis court, and even a private lake. We've seen Ludacris showing off his home more recently on Instagram and TikTok, and his wife even gives some glimpses of the luxurious place. We can see that their backyard has it all and even a new giant chess game board. The guest house is also multi-level and clearly the whole family spends a lot of time by the pool. But I would do the same if I had that in my backyard. Although I don't have too many details about the inside of Ludacris's Atlanta mansion, from what I can see the place is gorgeous. He recently spoke about why he loves the city so much and why he stayed, saying, Atlanta is synonymous with the word real, especially when you talk about the people and integrity. This is where my roots are and this is where I continue to be inspired to write music. I wouldn't want to move anywhere else. I feel like I would lose myself if I left Atlanta permanently. Also adding that some of his fave hangouts in Atlanta and the Buckhead area include Prohibition, a members only private club where he loves to smoke cigars, Henry's Bakery with his fave gingerbread cookies, and Chop's Lobster Bar and Bones Steakhouse. Not to mention Ludacris is a fan of Whole Foods, saying, I try to eat organic and stay healthy to balance all of the partying, alcohol, and wild lifestyle. Whole Foods is like my Disney World because you can get anything there. So that's all I got for Ludacris and where he calls home. We took a look at his property in Hollywood, his first home in Georgia he renovated for his mom, as well as what we know about his current Atlanta mansion. I wish we could see more of how his Atlanta family home is designed, but seeing the backyard and all he has on the property, you already know the place is gorgeous. After looking at Ludacris's homes, what did you guys think? Which was your fave? I liked both his current modern Hollywood Hills spot and what I could see of his Atlanta dream home. As usual, be sure to let me know in those comments down below, as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like 
like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already and you wanna chat and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.